Hey, I hope you're enjoying your new fingerboard. However, we know things can get a bit tense when you argue about the rules. <laughs> but don't worry, it's super easy to understand. So come with me as we go over some of the basics. To kick things off, let's talk about setting up the game. Place your discs in the centre of the board, alternating the colours, and lastly, placing the blue decider right in the middle. Whether you're playing with two players, four players, or the octagon with eight players, remember, team members sit opposite each other. Now, before the finger flicking frenzy begins, decide who gets the honour of starting the game. The winner of the previous game will kick off the next one. Otherwise, try flicking a shooter, like a coin, to decide who will start. The shooter can be placed strategically anywhere in or out of your own semicircle, as long as it at least touches the line. The first player breaks the ring by shooting their shooter into the mix. From there, players take turns clockwise, aiming to pocket all discs of their team colour and lastly the blue decider. Similarly to the rules of pool, the colour of the team is determined by the colour of the first disc pocketed. So, if you get in the red disc first, you need to aim to pocket all of the red discs for the rest of the game. If a player pockets their own colour, they get another turn until they miss. If discs go astray, <coughs> sometimes they do, place them in the centre of the board and also make sure to keep your shooter off of the board when the other players are having their turn. Now, let's talk penalties. If you accidentally get your shooter in, that's a one disc penalty, meaning one of your colour discs need to be removed from the pocket and placed in the centre. If the blue decider is pocketed prematurely, that's a two disc penalty, meaning two of your colour discs need to be removed and placed in the centre, as well as the decider disc itself. If the shooter is pocketed with the blue decider, the penalties add up to a three disc penalty. However, if it's your final shot and you get the blue decider with the shooter pocketed, it's a little bit different, and that's a two disc penalty, meaning the blue decider plus one other disc must be placed in the center. Also, when arranging the discs in the center, it's best to have discs touching each other closest to the board's center point. And those are all the rules. But these rules are meant to be broken. Feel free to change the rules as you wish to make the game more enjoyable for you. So there you have it, the basic rules for the best game in the world. So gather your friends and let the finger flicking fun begin. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our website, Fingerboards Are Us, for more information. We're Australian owned and we're always striving to give you the best playing experience. I'm Danae, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.